I understand why they're doing it. They're concerned about, you know, online adult content getting into the wrong hands and things like that, trying to protect kids. Happy to, you know, join you in that in, in that march. However, this is going to have one of those outcomes where no one saw it coming. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, if we're going to ban VPNs, if we're going to monitor people who are using VPNs, that obviously we're going to restrict the use of people working at home, remote systems, and in many cases, the use of cloud computing. And so if this bill goes through and VPNs are going to be banned in the state, then in many instances, so are the use of cloud computing because people won't use them unless they're going to be leveraged through a VPN if it's a remote work situation, things like that. So obviously, it's a typical government, you know, government movement where they're moving forward with, you know, some kind of laws and regulations without understanding the consequences or the unintended consequences of doing that. So on paper, these bills are marketed as child protection measures, but in practice, they collide head on with how modern IT and cloud computing actually works because VPNs are not a niche tool uh, used only to hide adult content. They are by default a way that businesses, schools, hospitals, banks, and governments securely connect people to cloud services. And so when I saw this, I was wondering, does someone ask or you know, present to the uh, lawmakers that this is likely going to be the outcome? So I understand what you're doing. You have good intentions, but I think the unintended consequences are going to be far reaching. 